Danny Finkelstein of the Times. Yes. You're with us tonight. You're going to be interviewing George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Why have you given your time to Norwood this evening? Well, I always try and say yes to Norwood events if I possibly can. I knew that tonight, if I said yes, it would be more likely that we'd get the chance to come. I try to support Norwood events because I think that Norwood is a fantastic charity, brilliantly organises it, uses its money properly, um, and the public events it does are good not only in and of themselves but also as ways of raising money for the charity. So I know that if I do this or I persuade my friends to do this, neither myself nor the person that I've encouraged to come will be wasting their time. Fantastic, thank you. And you've interviewed a lot of uh, very famous and very uh, interesting and high-powered people. Tonight is no different. What kind of tactics are you going to employ when speaking with the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne? Well, in general, I try and be more Michael Parkinson than Jeremy Paxman on these events because people haven't come to hear me. The last event I did was with David Attenborough. He came onto a massive roar from the audience and uh, I turned around to him and I said, well, that's what you get when you come on stage with me. So I'm fully aware that people are really here to hear George. Uh, they want to know what the Chancellor's got to say about tuition fees we're talking on the big day when tuition fees vote was passed in parliament we want to hear what he's got to say about the budget they want to know a bit more about him so my job is to lob questions to him that are interesting a bit challenging but stay out of the way so that this becomes the george osborne show and not the danny finkelstein show that'll be a good show though so the final question the million dollar question obviously there's 250 young norwood people who want to uh, make sure there's a fair to and fro of conversation What's the one question you want to ask that you just can't ask? <laughs> There's nothing I don't feel I can ask. I'm definitely going to talk to him about Nick Clegg. I think I might try and ask him uh, what he thinks of Nick Clegg, find out his very positive view, and then ask him whether he's really going to try and run a candidate against Nick Clegg at the next general election. So there's no questions I think I can't ask. There are quite a few I think he'll have difficulty answering. That was my next question. You think he'll be able to answer every question, and will you accept no comment? Yeah, I've known George for a long time, so I think he'll be able to answer any question. Uh, that's how you get to become Chancellor of the Exchequer and a key aide in the Cameron government. Um, so I don't suspect that he'll stumble over his answers. And uh, I might try and get him to do some impersonations, because George is a great mimic. Is that right? Anyone you know that he can do very well? He does a fantastic Tony Blair. That's got to be on your agenda for this evening. Thank you very much. Have a good time, and uh, good luck in battle.